camera is aimed so I uh, look at stuff and figure out this iPad thing and uh, apparently not y'all are going through ads and everything let me double check back here right quick how y'all doing Get up close and yeah okay should be all right it should be all around all right <laughs> um, yeah I said screw it go live yeah. yours still says waiting there it goes okay very slow. All right. So live chat, tap. Now I can see it. And uh, yeah. All right. What is up, everybody? Yamas and Josh here. Uh, Josh heard my pleas this morning. Uh, he watched the show and heard that I was going to be doing this all by myself. So I get a touch, brother. Do you need help? And I'm like, yes, please. Oh, please, if you can. Yes, 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 yes. No sound. Oh, come on. How is there no sound? Check. I mean, I'm on my... I'm on a phone, so... Okay. Um, Jeff, turn your mic up. John, turn your mic up. I, I hope you guys aren't messing with me. Because there's nothing I can do to control it. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Uh, let me see. Jeff, turn your speakers <laughs> up. Send. <laughs> All right. So, obviously, a foam stream. Uh, there was storms, now it's freaking sunny out, uh, but whatever, you know. Um, hey, Mr. Coffee, no, yeah, this is my brother Josh. How's it going? You know, um, so he, he, he's actually, for those of you who have been around a long time and have caught the streams where he's been on and the videos where he's been on, is one of the co-founders of Island Metal Forge. Back when, before I even really started anything, we were out in the backyard burning some stuff and you know, banging on some, you know, metal just for the, you know, giggles of it, you know. So, uh, yeah. Um, that, turned this. that turned into what you see here. You know, Josh is so busy with work and side jobs and everything. He, he's rarely able to, you know, come around and, and, and work on the, in the shop with me. So, when he does, it's a bonus and a treat. And uh, he also sleeps up. Yeah. <laughs> my my shop is you know my work area is clean. I'm not kicking up dust right now. It's it's actually kind of nice. Um, but saying hi to the chat, we got Stephen Parsons in first. Shane Lalone, Jim Brun or jo Jim Brunell, <laughs> Crypto Smith in the house. Uh, Mr. Maker, Jeff Woodring, George Anderson, Eric, Mr. Coffee. We've got. Paul Orchard, Trail Duds, and M.W. Hayes, back from this morning. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I actually did a little bit of promotional for this, just a little bit, like posting it on my Twitter, posting it on uh, Instagram. Uh, Josh posted it to some of his, uh, you know, coworkers and friends that he's got. Uh, so he's got one up on me for that. He's got coworkers and friends. <laughs> um, and uh, what we've got is a 27.5 pound uh, piece that I've got the head of it in the fire. I've had it uh, in there now for about, roughly about a half an hour, uh, holding at a nice orange temperature to soak that, that all the way through. Um, and our, our first uh, task is because I've got it uh, uh, bead welded uh, so that it does not fall apart, you know, if these forge wells were to fail. Um, so there's a slight gap. Our first task is to get rid of that gap at a, at a medium, at a, at a, at a, a low, lower heat than forge welding temperature. And then I will sprinkle some flux in there uh, because, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, <laughs> uh, 
sorry about that ding guys it, you know it's a phone stream I, you know I didn't turn off notifications whatever but uh but yeah so um I knew this was gonna happen I didn't realize how bad it is to hold this thing let me get a a, a, a sample something all right to hold this thing I've got to hold it like this I can't hold it like this it's, it's too front heavy so I've got to hold it like this. Right here is insanely hot. Like I already burned part of my glove. So I'm going to have, this is going to be tricky. Okay. This is going to be very tricky. All right. What's up, Michael? Um, and so first thing, Josh, you know, I'm going to pull it out. We're going to tap it or we're going to hammer it close. Some pretty decent hits, you know, uh, uh, get some forge forge flux in there to let the capillary action suck it all in and uh, then get it in there crank up the heat and yeah I've got about a, about almost a full bag of coal in my in my fire pot right now on my forge table and right now um, another thing is I was looking at the um, proportions of the uh, uh, what the material that I have left for the body and I'll show you when I when I pull it out, um, I may take these bowls that I have, that's greasy, um, and uh, weld them together and then cut a square in, slip it over it and weld it on to be the body of the octopus and then heat it up and kind of hammer it into a fun shape. That will give me a much larger and more menacing body for what the sculpture is going to be. So, yeah, greasy. Need my three foot set of tongs, three foot long set of tongs. <laughs> Got any K wool nope nearby? No, I do not. What's up, Alexis? Yeah, um, I do not have any K wool, but that would be a good idea. Wrap that in K wool as a handle, you know. Um, yeah, no, the freaking sun came out. The, the freaking sun came out. It, you know, it looks all storm. Doesn't look all stormy and rainy. It's been it it, it has been raining yeah. since Josh got here at like noon thirty. I, I drove here in the rain. <laughs> you know, and and we've been dodging the rain. I was gonna set up outside and everything, and you know, I'm like, well, screw it. Let's get the fire lit and just build a pile of coal. <laughs> um, and like as I set up the live stream, the sun came out and the birds, the birds started, started chirping, chirping. and I'm like. Well, this makes me look like a liar. <laughs> but anyway, um, with all of that, there are 16 of you. I don't know how many likes there are. Everybody smooch the like button. This is a kind of a historic day. This is the largest thing that I have, not only the largest thing that I have forged welded, but it is actually the largest thing I've had in this fire pot. You know? Thank you, Josh. Hmm? <laughs> Instead of the thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Always, you know. Be polite. <laughs> no. Ah, this could be open. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's fine. Ooh. All right. Um, it's so big that I actually had to use one of my camera stands as a uh, stopper. You know, to, you know, as, as a tool stand. You know. The creek was at the porch steps yesterday. Hoo hoo hoo. Yeah, you know, uh, John, that, that's what I was thinking too, but like, here, hand, hand me that uh, uh, copper teapot. Let me see if that's the proper proper size. That's, that's a little too small. Yeah, I don't really have anything handy uh, uh, to do that with just yet, but we'll see. We'll see what this all, how this works. I've got a pair of tongs that might work. I've got an idea, though. What's that? Let's see how this goes first. If I'm struggling, all right. So again, first thing we're doing is
Okay. Now I'm going to peek in there. Yep, that started to do it. All right. Now I'll get some flux down in there. And here, I want you to step back a sec because I'm going to lay this like this and sprinkle some flux down into it from above. Now what that flux will do is like capillary kind of action and, and it will go into all the little crevices. Ugh. Okay. No, you're fine. Ah! Get it in there. Let this, let this get nice and toasty. Hey, Jeff. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> this is sponsored by Island Metal Forge Shop Crane. I actually have one. You know, it, it just doesn't rotate. It just goes up and down. I haven't built a, 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 a boom for it yet. Um, Need a ketchup squirter full of flux? Well, actually, I used my my flux uh, uh, bottle to, and put water in it so that I could be like, yeah, Roy, flux everywhere. Share the stream. This is historic. Let that get nice and toasty. It's gonna be. It's gonna be May. Uh, it's gonna be hot. Now we are taking this nice and slow. Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> hey Arthur! How do? Artist Blacksmith, me too. I know you, Arthur. <laughs> I could, Eric, I totally should. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a prank on Roy and, and get some baking soda and then just like fistfuls. Fit like like I'll be forge welding chain links or something, and I'll have it on the anvil, and I'll just have a bucket of baking soda of flux. And I'm like, oh hi Roy, how you doing? And then I'll put it in, and be like, wow, 
<laughs> you know. <clears throat> uh, not really, John. I really can't. It would be um, a difficult working setup to move the the uh, um, move the forge or move the uh, anvil right next to right under the forge, and then have the camera make sense and this and that. It would be too cramped. This isn't so terrible, but I do have to. It's close. We do have to pay attention. Hey, Michael. Honestly, working with that wasn't too difficult. Josh was like, I think I need my coat. It's a bit cold. I'm like, just wait. <laughs> Not cold anymore. My face is kind of warm. <laughs> All right. Try to find my, okay, my reference points. I gotta let that get hot without burning out my fire pot. We actually are concerned about that, and uh, thusly, I have at the ready. I pull them out of their, you know, muster stations or whatever the hell you want to call them. Right? We have our, uh, uh, we each have a uh, fire extinguisher right at our workstations, you know. So like, we're ready if there's a problem. And there's a bucket of water. Uh, yeah, actually, my Iron Mountain Flux is in my burger. You know? Uh, it's actually what I got, what I, what it is, is uh, White Mountain Flux. You know? Vice mounted computer stand. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually my figure carver. Hey, Brandon. Uh, we are forge welding um, a ginormous piece of steel. For, or no, it's not steel. It's wrought iron. You know, it's, it's wrought iron. We're forge welding 27 pounds of wrought iron to be the body of uh, a large octopus sculpture. It's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a, you know a, a few minutes. Well, yeah. Gifted five island metal forge memberships. Nice to. Michael W. Hayes, Jeff Killian. What's up, small scout stuff? I'm trying to, I'm not used to this. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is actually amazing there. <laughs> Are you still cold? I was going to say, you want to stay here? 
There's enough heat coming this way. Oh yeah. I mean, this little fireball right there is. Ooh, that's actually. I'm trying to stop that. It goes. Those Mm-hmm. What the the? I should have the garter ones on. I just switched. Hey, spear grass. You're going, you're going to the outer edge of the world right now. All right, yeah, get some good pictures of the circumference. Hey, Chaz. <laughs> Bill says, don't fall off. <laughs> That's what I got to grab. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I put in plenty of flux on it. Same guys. <laughs> I'm sure Roy is watching. He just saw me. He just saw me uh, throw down loads of flux, and, and he refuses to say anything. <laughs> those, no, those are too weak. So what we're going to do is this first uh, uh, forge weld set, after I'm done with it, I'm going to set it down. We're going to grab it with another set of tongs and dip the arms into my deep well over there 
to cool it off a little bit to help control the heat to where I can grab it. All right. I, I knew this was going to be a, a, a bit of a scramble, and, and thankfully you're here to, to, to <laughs> assist. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so I know it looks like a lot of boring stuff going on, but it's actually a lot of exciting is going on in here. All right? There is a, an inferno, and I think most of you guys are here watching to see if my fire pot falls through and I am out of business for until I can fix it. <laughs> I will probably go through a couple bags of coal today. <laughs> I'm waiting for the first sign of sparkles. And I take back, okay, so what we're going to be doing is uh, the hottest part, and, and so the brightest part will be where we're striking first. Because right? I doubt, I doubt that I'm going to be able to get the whole thing length as, as hot as it needs to be. As you make it right there. Yeah. Hey, cat. <laughs> Jeff Graham, what's up? This is like watching Iron Bo Boil. Exactly. All right, we are getting very close, uh, everybody. Uh, not, I'm not trying to hype this like a game show or anything, but you know, we're getting very close in there. And what I'm waiting for, and I'm starting to see some, but I want to see it more consistent, some sparks shooting off. to indicate that we are at a welding temperature. I, I did start it earlier, John. It was like half hour, 45 minutes that it's been in the fire. <laughs> and it's going up. getting, you know, singed this far away.
No, you know what that is? Take a from the bottom. Chunk up. I, th I think I just lost my tweer. Like the X. The, gr the grill. Because that big a chunk shouldn't have fit through. But yeah, I think I may have melted the bottom of my forge out. Why we're an eye on it. All right, I see sparks. So that might be from the bottom of the porch pot. <laughs> oh, not. Okay. Get the big tongs on it. Just under the, yeah, all the way into the thing. All right. You want me to help? Please? No, I got it. Okay. Sizzle, sizzle, boil, boil, <laughs> sizzle, boil. Yeah, that's really hot. Alrighty, where was I? No, I need those. <laughs> this stuff is so roasty toasty. Thank you very, very, very much there, uh, Alexis. Much appreciated. What's up, Elijah? morning about fire pots and how mine was all old and I probably needed uh, probably needed to get that uh, Dave Custer yeah I think I'm at that point like today <laughs> uh, a I don't have a sledgehammer B we're forge welding you don't want a sledgehammer I'm not trying to shape it you know. tap under the power hammer that is going to be a plan we're going to probably do one more uh heat set like what we just did and then josh will take handheld control of the of the camera and give you guys a better view as i move to the power hammer 
When I do that, that needs to be moved. Because that's probably where my photo goes. Alright. Now the reason we're looking underneath trail duds is the uh, um, is the uh, uh, what's it called to, to, to keep an eye on how the heat is passing through the forge, the fire pot. I do not have a press, Bill. I do not have a press. I have plenty of gravity presses that uses the Earth's rotational gravity to drop a hammer down on something. <laughs> uh, I'm sweating through my... Uh, had my, my hats already. Who's the guest striker? This is my brother Josh. Hello. Co-founder of Isle Metal Forge. For once we are watching him as intently. Right? Right? One of two things will ha one of three things will happen. We will successfully forge weld with some close miss close calls with the forge. Um, we will unsuccessfully uh, forge weld with some close calls from the forge or the fire pot and all of this massiveness will fall down. We'll grab our fire extinguishers, scream, shit our pants, put it out, end the stream. <laughs> yeah, I'll be sure to not let him end it until chaos has, well, yeah. happened. Because personally, I think chaos is good for raging. Professor Chaos! <laughs> Yeah, hot mic my pants. Yeah, this water is hot. I'm sure that water is hot. <laughs> this water <laughs> is not cold anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it just fell out of the sky. Yeah, if we can get through this. What's up, Bill? Thomas? <coughs> no, the water in my in my uh, natural water pond, 65-gallon tub of natural water is hot already. Yes. And we only drop the tentacles. Yeah, command, yeah, no, not while you're forge welding, I'll tell you that. Yo, Strickland, how's it been? Get it? Ben Strickland? <laughs> ben Strickland, he does propane and propane accessories. Hey, I'm sure you've heard it all.
All right. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> kind of doing its thing, but I'm turning it so that it's kind of throughout. 27, 27 views. All you lurkers, hello. If you, if you, if you haven't said anything, say hi. I want to hear from you. Uh, appreciate everybody. I'm interested to hear where you're from. Yeah. And to the cat cave. <laughs> and uh, yeah, for anybody new here, uh, I go live twice a week, two times on Sunday. You know, Sunday morning uh, for uh, the Sunday morning gathering that is you know discussing blacksmithing and blacksmithing related things. Um, you know, with my co-hosts, Adam from Speargrass Forge and Alexis from Transcendental Artist Studios. And we have a blast. And then Sunday evening, I do things like this in the forge, doing stupid, stupid, what am I thinking? All right, you ready? Let me, uh, where's this? Pong, 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 pong. Yeah, it keeps it twisted, so uh, I think this is... I need you to step up close because I want to smack and do it against your, your uh, apron. For some reason, it's getting lighter. <laughs> okay, now it's going to be once once we're ready again. Whew. We're going into the uh, power handle. With it. So. sitting on that anvil, that was hot. <laughs> uh.
these off for a second. All right. Oh, what a blast, guys. All right. Danimals, how do? Uh, Yamez had to bring in the big guns. Yeah, it did. Um, uh, I rolled down. All right. Uh, missing introductions. Who's the striker? Uh, Josh. Uh, my brother Josh. <coughs> and uh, co-founder of Island Metal Forge. Uh, originally, um, and and complete meat freak. <laughs> no, I'm not. And uh, uh, safety first. No safety. And and yeah. Uh, he was with me when we started, you know, when I was doing, when I built a little incinerator for, you know, yard debris and decided to start, you know, putting metal in there and hitting it with hammers. You know, like some of the earliest videos and pictures is with Josh. And he got busy and, and hasn't been able to be out, you know, as much over the years. But when he gets here, it's always fun, yeah. you know. I like to get here more often and trying to find Comments? more time. Yeah. You speak to the camera and loudly. And he's a mumbler. <laughs> Very soft-spoken, so sorry about that. Yeah. Um, if you ask him to train you on that tool, you shush, John. <laughs> uh, Thomas, I would love to have you strike for me someday. Uh, honestly, I think you're you're better at this than I am anyway, so uh, yeah. And uh, I would be horrified. I'd be like, all right, hit it! Oh God! Oh God! Don't hurt me! <laughs> I'm seeing you strike. <laughs> you can tell he's not an electrician. He's just—he's not just leaning on that thing with the bristles. What? Broom. Oh, the broom. Oh, oh! You're not an electrician because <laughs> you use the broom. No, oh, I, I am an I electrician. Get it. <laughs> I've been an electrician since I was about 14. Yeah. So. <laughs> Work permits and all. It's fun. Great profession. But yeah. Yeah. I love the shit that we get from people. <laughs> I love I love the like the 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 tool brand wars between oh, electricians. Like, you know, um, you realize that real electricians make fun of all your all y'all uh, 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 Milwaukee users. I don't. So, like, that. electrician, you know, the electricians here. How do you how do you tell Milwaukee packouts on the job site? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Danimals? I thought I said hey. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, future project um, is going to be. Forging and shaping, not that not one, but this one. he's yeah. got a Milwaukee uh, uh, knife, knife that he wants to do a, a Damascus blade for. We have a chunk that's perfect for it. It's just a matter of time. time. <laughs> you gotta carve it out. All right. So let me, while that is continuing to heat up, I am going to unplug the camera here. Oh wow, you guys can see part of the stand. Neat. This right here, they can see this. Because <laughs> I got everything backwards. All right, 21 thumbs, 28 people watching. What is the dealio? Seven, come on now. All right. So, camera here. There you go, and you can read the chat out loud because it should pop up as it goes. Um, but nobody's chatting right now. <laughs> they're all they're all anticipating what's happening. All right, I'm going to crank up the volume. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, you took me off of this. What? I took you off of what? You wanted that? Oh. Hello. All right. Basically, give you a monopod, right? Yeah. All right, here. Give me the camera. 
All right, sorry about shake cam and all that fun stuff. Trying to avoid it for you. Woo! Setting up monopod. Or, well, tripod. Someone transcendental says there's not enough coal in there. Oh, ho, ho. monopod. <laughs> there's the, yeah, I don't know what uh, what I can do about adding more. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's why I've been turning it. Let me. That was, a, that was something that shouldn't be hot. <laughs> and this is why I wanted the pod, so when I laugh, it's not shaking the camera. <gasps> be nice to the viewers. All right. 30 people. I am back to uh, the viewership that I used to have. Let me turn on the power hammer, so that's one step. And I should be... Noted. Noted? Noted. Gotcha, yeah, more. So, no. It is a comic relief. <laughs> All right. Moving stuff out of the way. One more turn. Oh. And what's going to happen is I'm going to move this way and you guys are going to get a shot that you guys don't typically get, you know. From about here. Yeah. But don't get too close to the fire right now, because uh, <laughs> you'll melt my phone. Yeah, you're due for an upgrade. Of course, a piece of pipe would be great. All right. Hammers are better, though. Here we go. Wish me luck, everybody. It's hot. the shop is uh so part of it on that side over there is all story. Give me a clear when you're ready to move. Alright, clear. And I'm gonna set it on the anvil real quick to take a look at something. I think that's homogenous. Alright, it <laughs> okay, so let me do a tap test. Doesn't look like anything's breaking apart. I do believe I have it. Now, let me... I had a feeling this was going to be a relatively quick stream. Well, an hour is an hour. All right, so I have these, right? And if I take and cut the squares out of them, that's really hot. And then weld this together, clean it up. I can then take and either using a torch or sticking it in the forge, kind of hammer texture and everything into it. And, and it would sit on it. Let me put a glove on. Dang it. <laughs> they would sit around it, if you can get kind of a over overish shot, like that, you know. And the legs would come out like this, and that would be the body. So 
that I really think that, <laughs> you know, I know that kind of makes it so that, well, then you didn't really need to forge weld it, but that was the plan all along. I just look at this and I see that's not enough uh, uh, material for the body, you know? So it will be wrought iron arms and, man, wrought iron arms and a steel body. I can still make it look pretty cool. All right. Um, let me see. Square octagon to round. No, I hear. I don't think I need to there, John Burnell. That's what I'm saying right now. <coughs> um, yeah, it, upsetting it is not an easy task on this piece. I will tell you that right now. <laughs> that would be a, 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 a. I don't think so. Um, but the next task is for me to take. Uh, some of the, I don't even know where it's at right now, um, some of my wrought iron uh, uh, tire or uh, uh, wagon tires and flatten them out into like eighth inch plates and then cut them into triangles and put, you know, like heat this up in the propane forge, put it in the vise and bend all the arms out into a pattern, you know, in, into its uh, 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 spread and then, you know, let it cool a bit flip it over and weld all those triangles between the arms, that will give me the bulk of the body, you know, or the, the bulk of the base of the body. Um, I can then go from there in, in attaching the uh, steel body of it. Um, I just, for what I want, the reason I'm going to be attaching a steel body for it is what I want is a large it, it, it's an octopus and but but it's like a mutated monster gigantic octopus so to have a itty bitty body with three foot leg or three foot arms it would just look disproportioned you know so i'm going to put something a little bit larger on it for the body hey kenny um <laughs> Slapping those stands for electronics together and build some nice ones. No, I like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of a Kraken. Um, I, you know, I have a a, round, a tapered, a rounded taper for the beak. And once I get the arms spread out, I, I, I plan on putting some bell, belled weeds, weed. Bead welds. Bead welds in there as well uh, to kind of define the inside inside of the, the body. And uh, uh, when I do that, uh, I may take and either choose to go with a traditional beak, like a real octopus, or heat it up and then fuller it down and make it like a sarlacc mouth, like much like the Kraken from, uh, um, what is that pirate move? Pirates of the Caribbean, you know? Um, so I want it to be kind of a, a large caricature of an octopus. Uh, so disproportionately large body because, hey, it eats, you know, ships. So, so yeah. Um, I know that seemed like a simple, like, oh, it, it's, it's done already or, oh, it's, it's, it's you know that's it like all you're doing is that i need to let this dang forge cool <laughs> this process took quite a bit out of my forge and why i have it sitting here while i'm talking is i, I need to grab my pointer i know roy's got his pointer but i got my pointer okay you know um i am i'm watching all these colors and, and, and how it cools down to see if it cools at the same rate. And I'm watching back here, and, and it really is cooling at the same rate, you know. So I do believe that I've gotten the, I got the forge welds hit, 
All right. And the tack weld, the bead welds that I put down here just to hold it together, kind of uh, <coughs> will, will help make sure that any it, it doesn't start fracturing when I'm when I'm bending these out. So. The forge weld is more of a, I'd like it to be a homogenous piece, but for the purposes of what I'm doing, it's not required to be. Scrapey, scrapey. But I am pretty exceedingly proud of how this went. <laughs> you know. Okay. Problem with the beam, you already welded all the legs together instead of equidistant around the body, leaving a space underneath for the beak. The beak is already in there, um, Bill. The beak is already in here. If, uh, let me, you'll see ultimately when I spread it all open, okay, which I'm not going to do today, but if you notice, there are eight legs and a centerpiece, okay? That centerpiece is only, where's my, where's my frame? Am I still on frame? Yeah. Ugh. That centerpiece is only about that long, and it's, it's a rounded tape. It's a beak. It's inside between all these, okay? So the beak is already in there. Oof. I am exceedingly happy that we didn't destroy my forge any further than I think we may have. And what I'm going to do is check to see how bad it went. Big clanker. I, I can't see the the whole the forge body is red hot. <laughs> the forge body is red hot. Uh, yeah, I think my grape may be gone, guys. <laughs> I think my grape may be gone. I'll find out tomorrow when it's all nice and cold. Yeah, I gotta let it cool down and clear it out and get a vacuum in there and really, really, uh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> proof positive, you can, you can forge weld wrought iron from, with a big nasty clinker in your fire pot. I know, right? Oh, well, so I was using a clinker tweer. Yeah, the clinker was holding the, uh, the coal in there. <laughs> it really was. I need to get a Dave Custer fire pot, clean this up, cut it in properly, and and, and just be like, all right, now I'm now I'm a professional. <laughs> but yeah, you know, as for the condition of my fire pot, the the uh, uh, the actual the air gate or the air tube, the actual tweer is starting to rot out from heat and uh, uh, the sulfuric residue from burning coal. And the fire pot walls itself have been flaking somewhat severe. So that 3 8 uh, that I put in, that 3 8 inch plate that I put in may now only be a quarter inch. <laughs> so, eeps. Uh, he tossed me a, um, but with this, I, you know, I'm excited and I'm so glad that there were so many people here. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry that there wasn't a catastrophe for you guys to be like, yay, he's going viral and going to beat Roy, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, but, uh, uh. 
what you guys did just witness was kind of a historic first for the shop. It may not be, I mean, it may not seem a big deal to people like, you know, Bill Wheel, who forges, you know, 30 pound uh, uh, chain link, you know, forge welds 30 pound chain link for a living, you know, like each, each link being 30 pounds and he does it, you know, with his fingertips, you know, uh, uh, or, or somebody like uh, uh, Hans forging double and triple handed, hand, you know, sledgehammers, you know, that weigh 30 to 50 pounds each. But for me, this was actually kind of a big deal. It was a very large forge weld of a difficult to forge weld at this size for me, you know, like, in addition to that, it was one of the heaviest things, one of the heaviest, I hesitate to call it single item, it is now, but, you know, one of the heaviest single pieces that I've done, you know. So, <laughs> dude, if it had gone sideways, I'd have totally clipped it into a short worthy of going viral, right? Like instant virality. <laughs> so this is one of those that to go back and, 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 and mark as a special in Island Metal Forge's history. You know, and, and I'll tell you, my arms are a bit sore from trying to be as careful as possible while, while hauling this thing around, you know, that holding that with them tongs, Josh, great idea, you know, holding them with them tongs, great idea. And, uh, uh, saved my, saved my, it was a bit awkward, but, but, but dang it, we got it, you know? Thank you for coming by. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'll try to come back and keep helping you with it. But for for all of those who are lurking in the chat and don't don't normally watch me, uh, yeah, I normally do little dinky things, you know, uh, or I'll randomly get a bug up my butt to do uh, uh, Damascus. So I, I've got like blocks that uh, Mr. Burnell actually. Is kindly actually just hold one in front of the camera, hold them in front of the camera, you know, if you can see those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Mr. Burnell has uh, 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 crafted for me to turn into Damascus billets, which those two may may someday soon become another uh, uh, Damascus hammer. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I've got a whole collection of uh, Damascus chunk or. Uh, um, you know, 15 and 20 and 1084 pieces that I can put together uh, to make more Damascus uh, billets. Thank you again, John. That's going to be huge. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't done anything with it yet, but yes, it's been busy, as you all know. So, yeah, forge welded 27 pounds of rock. Well, okay, if we want to get super technical, this whole three-foot piece, three-foot by three-inch by three-inch piece, is 27 pounds. I was forge welding just one end of it. Yeah, it was the heavier end, but still. And yes, I did nearly burn up my fire pot. I think I lost my grate. I do see chunks of metal, like melt molten metal. So uh, there's gonna be a little bit of uh, repairs. The non-tragedy, non-drama, non-eventful eventful forge weld. I am so freaking elated that this went as good as it did. And what I will do is I will clean it up, do what I said, you know, I'll, I'll prepare the body to clasp around it and then prepare the, the webbing for the legs uh, or, or, you know, for the arms. And once I get these spread out, this is going to be brutal to work on because <laughs> the thing's going to be almost six foot wide. And, uh, and and it's it's pretty much going to be the rest of it's going to be torch work. <laughs> Torture. Yeah, nine. Not the the part that was forge welded was nine pounds, but lifting the whole thing was twenty seven and a half pounds. Probably twenty seven pounds now with the loss of scale. You know, so yeah, this this was quite a 
I actually put this up here as a joke. I, I don't need it up there. I got a garbage can. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm proud of myself. I had a plan. I executed said plan. I not only executed said plan, but trained my brother to help me execute said plan. We executed said plan successfully with only minor damage to the area. And uh, we're golden. Uh, Bill Wheel, I will pretty much be doing a shell which gives me the idea of trying to tear, make that look like an actual shell as opposed to an octopus body. You know? Hmm. Make it your own. <laughs> yeah, I could build the mother of all dirt box forges. Yeah, and, and so Thank you. with all of that, yeah, I think we're going to end it there. I know it was a short stream, but I got to let the forge cool down. I can't, I can't rush headlong into the next piece of this. This was a large, relatively large milestone for this project. It takes it from being a bunch of random pieces of, of wrought iron laying around the shop to now it is something dot 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 you know <laughs> um and so i know josh has got to get home to you know uh, uh his family and uh i've got to get in and grab some dinner so uh stretch out the bowls to ovals it's something to think about it is something to figure out and think about either using those bowls or using that as a stepping stone as an idea to improve even if i take and you know what would be cool is copper pipe for a shell and then get it on there and then braise it on you know learn brazing mm, you know <coughs> And do like one of those long spiral shells. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like spiky and, and, and like, you know, it, uh, uh, an octopus unicorn. <laughs> okay. So, so, yeah, with that, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I appreciate all of you guys tuning in. And for anybody watching after, if you've made it this far and not being bored, you know, uh, thank you all for watching. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm glad this went off with nary a hitch, you know. Octacorn. Um, <laughs> octacorn. Cool. I like That's it. eight horns. Or eight corns. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Ooh, even the, even the bot, the base of this is warm. So with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it. Um, let me try and selfie stick this to get us to say thanks. <laughs> I just made everybody sick by moving it like that. <laughs> All right. See you all next week, guys. Oh, I can't hit. It's just.